box four. Let's go. Do, do, do. Ba -do, ba -do, ba -do. And this one was not opened by the TSA. Fresh open one. Uh-oh. Is that my dog? Maybe. Ugh. All right. Record Jungle. I went to the Record Jungle in LA and I found a nice copy of uh, Robert Palmer Clues, which uh, is always great. This is a great album. I love this album. And, uh, and so this is probably going to be an upgrade for me. Zappa, You Are What You Is, $14.99, double record set. This is on Zappa, uh, Bark and Pumpkin. Uh, so uh, very happy about that. Cheap Trick Live at Budokan, when you can pick one of these up for less than 10 bucks. Yeah, you're laughing, mate. Uh, oh, Hawkwind. Yes, yeah, Space Ritual Hawkwind. This is the six-panel fold-out, which, uh, which is nice. Double record set, six-panel fold-out, and uh, yeah, quite a nice package. I, it is a little bit dusty, so I'm going to have to clean that up and get that ready to sell. I have a copy of that, so that's going to be one of the ones that I bring to the next record player. Dimple Records bag. My friend Chuck brought me some stuff, and Dimple Records, unfortunately, is no longer a shop. Out. That's nice. Now, this is a version of Freak Out with the. Hang on, my dog's being a pain in the butt. Give me a moment. Oh, that wasn't my dog. That was the neighbor's dog. Now, this is a mono version of the Mother's Freak Out, uh, an original pressing. Um, and you can tell they have this hot spots map, this offer. If you send a dollar into MGM Records, uh, you can, they would send you a map of all the hot spots to freak out in Southern California. So, um, this was taken off of future pressings. And, uh, so yes, that's how one way you could tell if it's an earlier first pressing. And there are uh, very few of those original maps available. I think maybe only a dozen or less. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's quite the find if you can ever get one of those. I passed up the opportunity to get a um, uh, one of those hot spots maps one time. I, just, I still kick myself to this day about that. Oh, Zen Arcade. Another copy of Who's Could Do Zen Arcade. I found this copy of High and Dry uh, for rather cheap. Ten bucks. Uh, and I think I may have paid eight for it anyway. But look, it's. Uh, I think this is the original... No, nope, this is the reissue with the reverb bringing on the heartbreak. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, nice disc. I, I, I don't know how much I paid for this, but it must have been a good deal. I've got a few copies of this album, and I probably brought this one back for a friend or to bring to a record fair. Well, I showed you the other Essential Jimi Hendrix. This is another one. This is also a promo. This is Volume 2. I think I showed you Volume 1, the other one. And it's promo, and it has a 7-inch um, single in there for Gloria. Um, oh, yeah, here's another one. Got a good deal on this. A Peco label, Led Zeppelin 4. <gasps> Grace Under Pressure. Yeah, I think I got these out of like a $10 box or something, $5, $10 box. Um, here it is, Minutemen, three-way tie for last. I was on the hunt for a copy of Minutemen um, uh, uh, Double Nickels on the Dime. I sold my copy uh, about a year ago, and I've always regretted it. I brought a, I bought a bunch of Minutemen, but uh, that's the one that, I, that eluded me this time. Oh, Bad Brains. That's nice. Uh, yeah, that was there on the cover. But yeah, someone was selling these cheap, so I'm happy to get them. Rodney on the Rock with a, um, with a newsletter in it. So that's something you probably won't find here in Australia anytime soon. Uh, what is it? Bangles, Vandals, JFA. Um, oh, yeah. Grateful Dead. I bought this promo version. Now, I'm not a huge Grateful Dead fan, but um, I think I can start here by kind of learning something. I'll put it on. I'll see what I think about it. That's a promo copy, and it's a, yeah, it's a double record set. Let me see if the label actually has promo on it. No, it doesn't. Some of those say have the promo label on it as well. 
Um, oh yes, Mr. Stardust here. And oh yeah, this. This is uh, Big Mama Thornton Volume 2. And this is on our Hooli Records. I picked this up at, where did I pick it up at? Uh, the Record Parlor in Hollywood. So uh, some friends of mine went into Amoeba. I'm going to do Amoeba, but just for like 10 minutes. I, I really find Amoeba pretty daunting and not a lot of great deals. It's kind of tends to be, you know, something for everyone, which means that there's some, you know, kind of nothing special there. So uh, Big Mama Thornton, I, I went over to uh, Record Parlor and they just got this huge blues collection in and I picked this up. All right. That is box number four. I'm going to take a quick break. And uh, maybe we will uh, pick it up on another video. What do you say for that, huh? Yeah, that's neat. That's a great idea. Let's do that. Okay, we'll do another video, and we'll be back shortly. Cheers.